Welcome to the Getting Started with Top View for Canary Labs video. Top View for Canary Labs allows you to easily configure monitoring, alarming, and notification for data measurements from the Canary Labs Enterprise Historian. This video will show you how to get started with Top View for Canary Labs by showing you the initial configuration steps and a small set of features. This includes selecting the Canary Labs tags to monitor, configuring alarm conditions for a few of the tags, and configuring email notification for one of the alarms. For more information on Topview's available features, please watch the product overview video or visit our website. This is the Topview configurator. The configurator is used to select the Canary Labs tags that you wish to monitor. It also allows you to configure the alarm conditions and notification settings for the monitored points. Topview communicates to the Canary Labs historian using the Canary Labs web service. The first time you launch the configurator, you will be asked for the name of the machine running the Canary Labs web service. You can also configure this name by clicking the button next to the server text box. The specified name is used by the Canary Labs tag search. The next step is to select the tags that I would like to monitor in top view. To browse the Canary Labs tags, I'll click the Tag Search button. Using the Browse Hierarchy, I locate the tags of interest. To return tags to top view, select tags from the search results and drag them to the selected tag list. When you've selected the desired tags, Click OK to return these tags to the TopView configurator. I've now configured TopView to monitor 20 tags from my Canary Labs historian. I'd like to launch the TopView alarm and notification engine for this configuration to verify that it can successfully monitor the tags from the Canary Labs historian. The TopView alarm and notification engine can run interactively or as a Windows service. During this video, I will start and stop the engine interactively, since this enables us to quickly see the current values and alarms as we make changes to the configuration. One thing to note, if you have multiple configurations, you can run multiple instances of the alarm and notification engine on the same machine. Each configuration defines the tags, limits, notifications, reports, and other settings of an instance of the engine. While the top view engine is running, I want it to automatically load any changes I make to this configuration. So I will go to the Options screen and check Auto Restart on Configuration Changes. By default, the TopView engine will only load configuration changes when it is started or restarted, allowing the user to control the point at which configuration changes become active. I'll save the current configuration and click the Launch button to start the TopView engine for the current configuration. The TopView engine for this configuration will perform the task that we've configured in the TopView configurator. At this point, my configuration contains a list of tags to monitor, and you can see the current values of the tags listed in the TopView engine window. I'd like to change the engineering units for one of the listed tags. You can see that the first tag is displaying its value as gallons per minute. I'd like to convert this value to gallons per hour, and to do this, I return to the TopView configurator. I need to return to the Tags and Limits screen and select the Flow tag from the list. Next, I click the Operations tab. TopView contains a set of built-in operations that allow you to manipulate the tag value retrieved from the Canary Labs historian. To convert gallons per minute to gallons per hour, I need to multiply the retrieved tag value by 60. Since I've changed the units, I will also override the tag's engineering units. Next, I click Save to save the changes. And because I configured the TopView engine to restart on configuration changes, the TopView engine reloads and displays the tag's value in the converted engineering units. 
If you notice, the tooltip shows both the original tag value and the operation result. The next step is to configure alarm limits for a few of the monitor tags, so I've returned to the configurator. Before I start, I'd like to retrieve the current values of the tags into the configurator, and to do this, I click Get Values above the tag list. I will configure alarm conditions for two of the monitor tags. The first tag is the flow in gallons per minute, but we've converted this to gallons per hour in the top view engine. If an operation exists, the alarm limits are compared to the result of the operation, not the original tag value. The sixth tag is a deviation value. My first alarm condition will be if the flow tag is greater than 1500. My second alarm condition will be if the deviation is greater than 20. To configure alarm limits, we need to display the alarm limits and notification settings screen, and there's a few ways to do this. You can right-click a tag and choose Alarm Limits and Notification Settings. Under the Selected Tag Settings, you can click the button to the right of the tag name. Under the Alarm Limits tab, you can click Configure Alarm Limits and Notification Settings, or you can just double-click any tag in the list. The top of the alarm limit screen contains a drop-down of the monitor tags. As you configure the limits and notification settings, you are doing so for the selected tag. So I'm going to make sure that my sixth tag, the deviation tag, is selected. Each monitor tag can have the four alarm conditions. For the deviation tag, I'm going to set the alarm condition to greater than 20. I will also enter a custom message, the deviation is too large. and I'll check the box to only show the custom alarm message so that no additional information is added. Next I'll click Apply and select my first tag, the Flow tag. For the Flow tag, I will enter an alarm condition greater than 1500 and set the delay in to 10 seconds. An alarm for this tag will occur if the value goes above 1500 and remains there for 10 seconds. I will then enter a custom alarm message, the flow percent value percent is too high, and check the box to only show the custom alarm message. Percent value percent is a placeholder that will put the current value of this row, the flow, into the alarm message. Because I'm converting the engineering units of this tag by applying an operation, percent value percent will be the result of the operation, not the original tag value. I will then click OK to save the current settings and close the alarm limit screen. To view the result of the most recent changes, I will save the configuration. The top view engine then reloads the new settings. My sixth tag, the deviation tag, is immediately an alarm because the value is greater than 20. Because the value of the first row is currently greater than 1500, it should transition into alarm after 10 seconds. The top view engine, the remote viewer client, and the mobile web app present two views of the monitor points and alarms. Values view, the current view, displays the values of the monitor tags along with the current alarm state of each tag. Alarms view displays the alarm messages of active and unacknowledged alarms. Both views can be filtered and configured to show various details about each monitor tag and alarm. The next step is to configure notification for one of the alarms. With top view, you can send notification in a wide variety of ways, including email, SMS text messages, numeric and alphanumeric pagers, text-to-speech, voice calls to phones, and audible alarms including WAV files and voice enunciation. For this demonstration, I will send alarm notification using email. 
I would like to send an email notification when my first alarm condition, the flow value greater than 1500 for 10 seconds, occurs. First, I need to configure the outgoing email settings. I click Email SMS Notification, choose Yes to enable, and then click the Configure button. Using this screen, I can configure outgoing and incoming email settings using a mail server, as well as outgoing and incoming SMS using a GSM cellular modem. I need to configure the outgoing email settings. I will send email notification messages using my SMTP mail server, so I need to enter my mail server name. If your mail server requires authorization or SSL, you can enter this information along with the server name. Next, I will enter a from address for the outgoing email messages. Next is the configuration of email recipients. TopView supports sending notifications to individuals, predefined groups of individuals, or a combination of individuals and groups. With predefined groups of recipients, each configuration contains a default email SMS group, and they also share a common list of global email notification groups. Each group can contain one or more recipients along with a defined schedule. I will add a recipient to the default email group. So I click the Add button to add a new recipient. You can enter the recipient by email address or contact field. If a contact does not exist, you can click the Contacts button to create a new contact. I will select an existing contact named Demo User and select the contact's work email address. Before I commit these settings for use in TopView, I want to verify that my email server settings are correct, so I will send a test message. This allows me to send a test message using the current settings, and a screen appears displaying a detailed log of the test. TopView did not have any errors sending the test message, so I can use my email client to verify that the test message was received. Now that I verify the settings, I can click OK to apply the settings and return to the TopView configurator. The last step is to configure which alarm should send email notification. I will configure email notification for my first alarm condition. Returning to the alarm limit screen, I will configure the flow alarm condition greater than 1500 for 10 seconds to notify the default email SMS group when the alarm occurs. I click OK to apply the settings. Now I will save the configuration And as before, the first tag should transition into alarm after 10 seconds. Now that the alarm occurred, TopView should send an email notification message to the members of the default email SMS group. But before I check my email client, I'd like to see if TopView executed the configured functions, so I will launch TopView admin tools. If I look at today's application log, I should see the details about the flow alarm and email notification message. If I look at the email notification logs, I should see details of each message sent. Now I will check my email client for the new notification message. Thank you for watching the Getting Started with TopView for Canary Labs video. For more details, please take a look at the TopView product information available on our website. You can also request a full functioning evaluation version if you would like to test TopView for Canary Labs yourself.